Hey everybody, it's Kelly Farrow here. I am doing another video today. Um, my hair is a little bit damp because I just got out of the shower, so don't mind my hair. But um, anyways, I am a psychic medium for those of you that do not know, and I'm just very grateful that you guys are here, and it's for a reason. I do not believe in accidents. I believe in synchronicities. So if you are here, it's for a very good reason, and perhaps you're a light worker. Perhaps, perhaps you just stumbled upon this video out of nowhere. But whatever the reason is, it's for a reason. A good one. <laughs> um, so today, I wanted to talk to you about your pineal gland. In other words, your third eye. And now this is something that some people may think that it's a negative because some people, there's some religions that talk negatively about it, um, but it's actually such a beautiful thing and we all have the same anatomy. Therefore, we all have the pineal gland. So I am not any more special than you are because I can talk to people on the other side. Um, because we all have this ability, you just have to learn how to tap into it. Now, fortunately, I was born with this ability, and recently, about a year ago, I started having crazy things happen to me, and I didn't understand it. Now, I know when I was younger, I used to see spirits in my room, and sometimes it was really scary. And sometimes it was actually quite comforting. So I would see maybe orbs flying on the ceiling and they didn't scare me at all. Actually, I thought they were very beautiful. And I would just have a lot of, like I thought I was very, very intuitive. I had tons of anxieties because I didn't understand how to process the energies that I was experiencing. And in fact, in grade two, they put me back a grade while my twin sister stayed ahead. Now, that was a little traumatizing for me because being a twin, like we're connected at the hip. So being away from my twin sister, but not only that, I felt dumb. I mean, I felt stupid. The fact that they put me back a grade and I know that I had anxiety disorder and ADD, but it just really affected me. I'm over it now because I understand why I was the way that I was but um, okay so I just wanted to tell you about a year ago I started having weird experiences so I would be working I'm a hairstylist so I'd be working on my client blow drying their hair and I would just have a weird thought to ask about a family member like their mom I'm like how's your mom and I didn't know about her mom I didn't know she was alive passed away I didn't know anything and she's like oh she passed away a week ago and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just didn't expect that. And in my head, I would have a vision of what I thought that they would look like. So I saw blonde, wavy hair and red lipstick. And it's very faded. It's not like um, HD. It's almost like um, cloudy. It's like, like your imagination, like a vivid imagination, like a daydream. And so when I said, oh, what did, you know, what did she, did you guys look alike? Did you, did she have like, you know, wavy blonde hair? And she's like, yeah, she did. And I would say, oh, did she wear makeup? And they would say, no, but she always wore red lipstick. And I was like, are you, like, that is crazy because that's too specific. So it started off like that. And I had a psychic reading with somebody and she was unbelievable. She is an evidential medium like I've never seen before and she told me that I had this ability so you have to believe it I mean I was like okay that explains a lot of stuff I've seen dead people I knew things I shouldn't know that makes sense so I started looking into it and it started happening more and more and more and I am here with you today because I want to spread the truth that we all have this ability we're all raising into a higher vibrational being, this is the truth. Our consciousness is expanding. Our DNA is literally changing. Um, so I want you to be aware that you, if you're watching this, you may very well be a light worker. You might not be a medium. You might want to be a healer. But regardless of what we do, serving others is one of the highest vibrations you can do. And if we serve, if we live to serve others, it changes the whole frequency within us as a collective. 
and I really want to spread the word and the truth of this. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do what I do. And that is talk to past loved ones, talk to angels, talk to spirit guides, things like that. Uh, how to see auras, like there's so many things that we can talk about. Energies, energy healing, which I do as well. Um, but today, the pineal gland is back. People say it's right here, but it's actually kind of in the back middle part of your brain. And there's ways to open it. And people think, oh, they have to do all these things. But in actuality, if you believe and ask it to be open, it's going to be open because you can, it's already there. It might need to be decalcified because of all the crap that we're eating and the fluoride that we're drinking, but it's there and it can be stronger. You just have to know that you have this ability and you have to want to do this and you have to be passionate about it. So, Things you can do, for instance, what I started doing was praying. And I know that sounds like too simple, but most, <laughs> most things are that simple. They're not so complicated the way that our human brains want to make them. Um, they're very quite simple. So just start praying to God, your higher source, or whoever your um, God is. Just pray to them and say, please, I really want to serve. Can you please help? open my pineal gland. I want to help others in such a profound way and spread the love and the truth. And so praying really worked for me. Um, also working with crystals. Doing meditations and crystal, the combination between the two is very powerful. You can take a crystal and stick it right on your third eye and that energy from the crystal will help like it open up your third eye as well. So meditation, there's so many different meditations. Heck, you can make your own. There's no rhyme or reason to just go with your intuition and let it take over to show you what you want to do. But you can, I'm not going to do this video on meditation, so I want you guys to do your own research and look at meditation. Binaural beats and isochronic tones were huge for me. There is this website called unexplainable.com and they have them for sale and there's some for expanding your consciousness, psychic, um, things like that. So try them. Listen to them before you go to bed because your consciousness is um, able to receive the most when you're either right when you're waking up or before you're going to bed because your conscious mind isn't getting in the way and arguing with what downloads you're getting or what information you're getting. So it's able to absorb everything. So do that either right before you go to bed or when you wake up or like me when my son's napping because that's basically the only time that I can do it. So when he's napping in the, the middle of the day. Also, eating healthier certain herbs. There's so many herbs out there that can help um, decalcify your pineal gland and help detox your body. I mean, it's all about detoxing our body to help release the toxins and to live the healthiest we can. Um, when your body is flowing and your energy is flowing, then spirit's able to come through you so much easier. So here's another thing that I love. CBD oil. That stuff is powerful. It's awesome. It's not going to get you all high and loopy because there's not enough THC. But I do um, have, I have noticed a difference. It's helped my anxiety. It's helped me feel better. I'm sleeping better at night. And that definitely detoxifies your body from all the crap that we had built up throughout the years. And it'll, you'll have a, a better um, instrument for spirit to work with. So, and a better mental state too. Um, you can also eat fresh fruits and vegetables. Of course, you guys have heard that millions of times. But um, also, I wanted to talk about energy work. So if you know how to transfer energy, I'll talk about this in a different video as well. But if you know how to transfer energy, some people call it Reiki, some people just call it energy healing, you can transfer your energy from your hands and put it right here and put it on your third eye. So this is one of your chakras. We have seven different main chakra points. And I know that the third eye is not the only one if you want to communicate with the spiritual realm that you should work with. I mean, 
definitely you should work with all of them so but mainly I would say your third eye your heart chakra and your root chakra which is down below underneath your legs so um and then your solar plexus I mean they all play an important role I can't just say one your throat chakra helps you have the confidence to be able to speak what you're getting um so just try all those things and I promise you you have to eat sleep breathe this I mean, if you want this to happen quick, I basically started doing mediumship within a couple months of learning. Um, it was crazy. I'm like, how did I learn this? But it's something that we always have. So for me, it came easier because I dedicated my life to this. Uh, every chance I got, I researched and I um, was dedicated to my um, routine of you know, praying, meditation, eating healthier, things like that. So herbs again are huge so do not forget about the herbs please do some research on the herbs uh, and the cbd oh my god it's all important all right anyways i will let you guys go but if you have any questions please comment below and let me know and i cannot wait to see you again please subscribe to my channel i hope that i was helped i hope i was helped for you guys sorry i had to swallow there but uh have an awesome day i love you I'm spreading my love bye